So then guys, we've just had the announcement of iOS 26 and today I want to go over my top 10 features, what we saw for iOS 26. And first of all, let's go over number one and that was all to do with that brand new design. That's right, Apple have decided to build up the user interface from the ground up, a brand new liquid glass is what they're calling it, and it does look absolutely stunning. I am a massive fan of this new kind of glass effect, how you can get all your apps to be kind of have a glass kind of feel to them, and how they all move around. This is the first time we've had a big upgrade since iOS 7 in the actual interface, and this looks absolutely amazing to actually have. A and I think this is probably going to be the biggest sort of feature that you'll notice straight away when you're using iOS 26. But then moving on to the second big upgrade, and that was all to do with backgrounds on your sort of main sort of home page when you actually have like your phone like in standby when you first turn it on for the first time. And that is that Apple have decided to change this with kind of a more glass kind of effect in this too. What's really, really cool, you notice like the camera and say like the torch effects and things like this, they have been updated and then also at the same time like for example if you change your photos around the clock and the time can adjust with this what looks absolutely awesome then also they brought out a spatial vision sort of ability on certain photos like the kangaroo one you can see right here what looks absolutely awesome to give you that kind of sort of 3d effect and that is a definitely a thing that i want to try out and then for the third big upgrade is all to do with the actual camera app. And I'm really excited about this. The interface for the camera app has also been updated to this liquid glass effect and it does look super cool. I love it how Apple have redefined everything now. It's so much easier it does look like to use compared to the old one now where you could like set up say, I don't know, 60 frames per second at 1080p easily switches over to 4K. It does look really simple to use. And I for one, I'm super excited for the change, what they have done here with the actual camera app. Now there was also some updates to the actual photos apps, but I'll probably talk about that in another video. But the fourth big upgrade that I'm an absolute big fan of is all of these new kind of translation tools that have been introduced using Apple intelligence across the board. We were shown like auto translate on messages, what is really, really awesome. And also FaceTime caption calls, what I think is gonna be really useful to have that if you're on a phone call with somebody and that you actually have that ability to actually actually get the captions down when someone's talking a different language. I think this is brilliant. And then phone calls translations with voice and also captions too. This is definitely going to be fantastic, especially that they also said that you didn't have to call another iPhone to make this work. You can make this work with just any kind of call out there. This is really, really cool. And I love this. And all of it just works right out of the box on your iPhone. It doesn't have to use the internet whatsoever. And then continuing on with the actual phone for the fifth big upgrade, I absolutely love the abilities that have come along here. I love the idea that somebody who you might not know might call you, you might not know the number, and then automatically or ask them a few questions of who they are, what they're doing, what's their reasons, maybe they're delivering a package, and then you can actually answer the call. I think this is going to be really useful to have. And also, I love the sort of on-call kind of help ability. So this is the way when you put on hold, for example, on a call, this is going to be super useful too. So this is the ability that you can actually just leave your phone to one side. And then the moment that when someone picks up the phone at the other end, then automatically it will tell them that you are coming back and then you can answer the phone. This definitely looks like an ability I will certainly be using and it's definitely going to help us out here. And then for the sixth big update, and that was all to do with messages. And I love the abilities, what have been added to messages, especially in group messages. So now, for example, we've got the ability that we can set up a poll, what was really, really cool, in group messages. And also that we can send and receive money in a chat. So if you've been for a meal out or something like this, you can request money or receive money, all using Apple Wallet inside of this app. This is definitely going to be useful to have. Something else that might be also super useful to someone out there, and that is the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this right here. This here is a MacBook Air, and it's the M4 Sky Blue version. And I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel at the end of June time, 2025. And the great thing is, you can still enter into this giveaway right now. 
All you have to do is just put down into the comments below of what Apple gear that you're hoping to get, or maybe none Apple gear that you're hoping to get in 2025. It could be, say, a new iPhone, like a new iPhone 17 Pro or Pro Max. It could be, say, the new Nintendo Switch 2. Just let me know in the comments below. And that's the first thing you guys need to do. Now, the second thing I'd say you guys also need to do is make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because I'll be making a video near the end of June time giving you even more details about the giveaway on this channel and you won't want to miss out on that. So the best thing I can say is make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell right now because obviously there'll be a form and things like this. So yeah, make sure you do that. And most importantly, I'll be telling you when I'll be doing that live giveaway live stream. The other thing I just want to quickly say to you guys that this MacBook Air is no ordinary one. This here is the 13.6 Sky Blue. It's got an M4 10 core CPU and 10 core GPU. It's also got 24 gigabytes of RAM. And on top of that too, it's also got 512 gigabytes of storage too. So this is going to one lucky person who's going to get that. The last thing I just want to quickly say about the giveaways that sadly there are sorts of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me tend to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram direct message, please do ignore these people, best you see right here, please do report them. So moving on from this then, for the seventh big upgrade, and that was all to do with Maps. And Maps has had some great updates, especially for your daily commute. I love the idea now that Maps can learn your daily commute as you move along and also recommend which route to take. And also if it knows that you're gonna stop at places like the shops or things like this on your route, it can work out exactly that route, what it's going to be. The other thing what I love is that maybe it might sound a little bit weird in a way but it's that Apple can track where you've been in the past and if you've been somewhere you can actually tell somewhere or tell someone where you've been and this is definitely going to be useful to actually have that you can share that location with them and then moving on from this for the eighth big upgrade, well, this was all to do with Apple Wallet itself. And Apple Wallet got quite a few upgrades here too. One of the cool ones I loved was the ability that everything's now all in one sort of wallet app. So for example, if you are traveling, you can actually like put, say, your luggage, you can do your iDevice sort of, you know, location, all inside one app, your boarding pass, all of that all together, and also share where you're going with a loved one. This is really, really cool. And then also, I love the ability that now if you buy something with your Apple wallet, that it can work out via your emails what that item is, and then you can track where your order is if it's being sent out in the mail, and you can actually look it up here inside of the wallet app. This is definitely something useful to have. But then moving on to the ninth upgrade, it looks like Apple have redefined the games app. What's, what they're calling is a new app, but I don't think so. I think it's just a new hashtag for game center, even though they're calling it the new games app. But there are some great new features in here too. All of your game apps and everything all loads into your library. You can also access, say, your Apple Arcade if you've got a subscription to that. But the other thing I really loved was the idea of competitions inside of it. I love the idea that you can actually do competitions with friends who share the same game and things like this. This is definitely going to be something really cool to actually play. And, you know, you can actually do challenges together. This is really super awesome. And then for the 10th and final upgrade, this was that new visual intelligence. Now, to be honest, this did sound a bit like the Google. Google Circle. It's like the Apple intelligence of Google Circle. This is the ability that you can now take a screenshot on your phone of something and then you can ask, you know, Apple intelligence about what you've taken a screenshot of. And you can even highlight parts and things like this, which is really, really cool. Ask it questions, you know, like what is this item I'm looking at? Where can I buy it from? Or for example, if you're looking at an event, uh, what you can do is you can add it to ask it to your calendar or can automatically find that out. This was pretty awesome to actually see as, as an ability and I for one think I probably will be using this in the future. But there we go guys, those are the top 10 features of iOS 26. What did you think of it? Do you think you're going to be downloading one of the betas to test some of these out? Well, let me know in the comments below. And um, with that as well guys, it's time to wrap up this video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.